Well, hello there. Midnight Ghost Hunt seems like a simple game when you start. If you're the ghost, you find a spot and hide. If you're a hunter, you group up with other hunters and break everything. After you spent some time with the game, you notice that MGH is much deeper than it originally appeared. I did a small tips video for absolute beginners a few days ago. However, given how fast people are picking up the game, I figured an advanced tips and tricks video made sense. My name is Judge Gray, let's get started. Midnight Ghost Hunt props can be knocked over and flung all over the map. However, if a ghost is actually in a prop, it will always be in its upright position. So my first tip is, look for props that are standing in their upright position. Props that are on their side can be disregarded as not containing a ghost. Also, if you try to use or flip a prop and it doesn't move, there's a ghost in it. There are several detection methods that hunters can use to track ghosts, but I see a lot of hunters not using any of them in the beginning of the hunt. My second tip is, don't waste your accessory slot in the beginning of a hunt on a vacuum, e-fib, or med kit. Grab a detection method that helps your team locate the ghost. If you need a vac or some other item, run back to the generator and pick it up. The generator is close and easy to get to. Because of that, there's no reason to take up a slot with a support item early in the hunt. Ghosts can be hard to kill solo. If they've been playing the game for a while, they can easily escape by hopping props, using their superior movement, or using a mix of aggression and evasion. Given this, my third tip is, if you think you've ID'd a prop or a ghost, call for help before engaging. If you have time, and the ghost hasn't noticed you've ID'd it, calling for backup improves your chances of killing the ghost. Unfortunately for all the Pulteys and Corruptors out there, some hunter detection methods can locate their traps. They register as max on some hunter detection methods, and because of that, my fourth tip is, learn how to read your detection method as a hunter. The detectors don't only show where the ghosts are, but can let you know if you are about to walk your team into a trap. Most people follow Lemming's style after the leader of the line. If you aren't looking for an ambush, you could easily walk your whole team into a trap and get them killed. Moral of the story, use your detection methods and learn how to read them. Whether you are a ghost or a hunter, you may need to switch your loadout in a hurry. Either you are being chased, it's midnight and you only have a few seconds, or you know what you want and selecting each thing is just too time consuming. Both teams have the options to set their presets, and my fifth tip is, use your presets. You can set them ahead of time in the lobby, for any situation you can think you will encounter, and use them in game. This can be a lifesaver during the middle of a hunt. I see a lot of people taking unnecessary damage as a prop frequently. Depending on the hunter's weapon, you may have a hard time running after you've been hit with the first shot. My sixth tip is, run early as a prop. If you think the ghosts are onto you, either start running or charge up and toss yourself away. Waiting too long may make it impossible for you to escape. Ghosts have a lot in their toolbox, and if they start their evasion early, they have a better chance of surviving. Fighting with a prop can be challenging at the best of times, and you may feel like your prop doesn't do any damage. Some of this is due to poor throwing and not network issues. My seventh tip is, fully charge your prop and jump prior to releasing it. It's very easy to accidentally clip another object and lose your full momentum. Jumping helps minimize the things you can and will hit. Also, Depending on the prop weight, different levels of charge will not give you the momentum you need to do any real impact damage. When in doubt, fully charge and jump when launching a prop at a hunter. Prior to midnight, fighting as a blue ghost is generally discouraged. You are much weaker and it is very easy for hunters to kill you in ghost form. Even though this is true, my eighth tip is, know when to fight as a blue ghost. There are times when you have a single hunter chasing you, and they are low health. Turning on them and slamming them with your prop and following up with a quick swipe could easily take the hunter out. Learn when to run and when to fight. Taking out and consuming a hunter can make your time easier at midnight. Fighting as a ghost can become hectic quickly, especially after midnight. There's a lot going on and it's easy to overfocus on getting your kill. My ninth tip is keep an eye on your health and run for orbs. Some of the best ghosts out there manage their health and run well before they're in danger. The hunters are given 5 minutes to escape. Don't think you need to rush in and kill them instantly. If things aren't going your way, pull back, regroup, get orbs, and try again. Bonus tip, don't forget that dead ghosts revive with less health. So go find an orb before starting the final fight. Swapping equipment during the hunt or during midnight is very powerful. Taking this ability away from the hunters can be crippling. My tenth and final tip is, break the generator as soon as possible. While it may not be feasible prior to midnight, your team needs to make sure they break this after midnight. Not only does it prevent the hunters from swapping gear, it spawns orbs. 
Having these orbs right next to the fighting area can turn the tide of any fight. And there you go. 10 tips to help upskill your gameplay. Midnight Ghost Hunt is a deeply dynamic game. You can just play it for memes, you can play it for fun with your friends, or you can approach the game in a more serious manner. No matter what your approach, I believe these tips will help increase you and your teammates' enjoyment. Now get back out there, and I will see you on the hunt.